All right, guys. So something a little bit different today. In this video, we're doing our overview of our West of our West Ham. It's not nothing to do with West Ham. <laughs> overview of our fantasy Premier League season, starting here at game week one. Don't judge. Name Harvey Barnes United. He was a cult hero for quite a while in my FPL until he got injured. So yeah, we started um meh meh very badly. To be fair, 44 points wasn't the best of start. Our captain got quite a few points, Van Dyke, before he got injured. Moving on to game week two, where we had a very good game week, considering it's only our second week doing FPL, because this is my first year doing it, and it actually went pretty well, to be fair. I finished second in my mini league, so like, up the boys. So yeah, we got 76 points, a sensational week. Captain Grealish, I've got a Captain Zaha, I got a good 85-ish points or something like that. So it could have been better, could have been better, but 76, pretty decent, pretty respectful, I don't say so myself, but Allison in net, well, I potentially could have hit 100 points if I started different players that week, when well, Mitrovic actually knew how to play football, throwbacks. Moving on to game week three, where we had another very meh start, but I believe I won that game week against Average, I think I was against. I can't remember, to be honest, but yeah, very meh game week, and we're going to move swiftly on. And obviously, you can see who I transferred in and out throughout the game weeks. And then, yeah, this was just dreadful. Liverpool got hammered that game week, I believe. That's why all the minus points. Big up. James Rodriguez, so ca carrying me slightly into not getting too bad of a score. To be fair, that was a dreadful score, but if I'd have captained James Rodriguez, it would have been a lot different. But obviously, I've made the wrong captain picks quite a lot, as you'll see throughout this video. As we move swiftly on to game week five, I don't want to look at game week four anymore. Yeah, I whipped out my wild card, and yeah, just need I say more, it didn't go too well. But then we had another sensational game week with Ings, Bamford and Jimenez carrying us. If I only had a captain Bamford or even triple captain him, but a captain Zaha and Zaha carried me. I didn't realise Zaha was on so many points there in the middle. But yeah, when we get to triple captain, you'll see I completely wasted it and butchered it back when a certain Everton striker was on form, not to mention any names. But yeah, 59 points in game week 7, pretty decent again, If to be fair. Moving swiftly on. 47 again, so we haven't got below, wait, what was that one we were on, were we on like 30 at one point, yeah, we haven't got below 30 at all, so where was I, game week 7, no, not game week 8, or 9, 7, so yeah, 59 point, pretty decent, we haven't got below 30 yet, and then we got to 47, Chilwell carried us a bit there with our captain, so we start making good captain picks, then again, got a decent score. Another good captain pick when Calvert-Lewin was firing them in for Everton week in, week out. And we took a free hit because we had some injury crisis, as you can see here. And it was just a painful experience. But it was not worth it either because we lost to average, I believe. That honestly made me nearly throw my phone losing by one point. But yeah. And then we've got slightly better the next week. A couple points up, but we still lost to it, to her for you against... And then 47, we're slowly creeping up towards 50. Another pretty bad game week, if you ask me. I think it went even worse. We went all the way down to 34. We had a shocking game week. My captain, Mahrez, and he didn't even play, so it gave it to Grealish as he's my vice captain. And then we go up again on game week 14 a bit, but yeah. As you can see, there it is. <laughs> DCL, three points and triple captain. <sighs> Using my triple captain on anyone this game week would have been an awful decision. Maybe Leno if I started him in net, but still. What a waste. I had to use it though, because I was slipping behind and I took the gamble on DCL just for him to bottle it for me. But then 47 again, we're going up again on game week 16. And then this is where I start a mini turnaround to push back up towards second as Adam had already begun running away with the title. 55 points. And then, yeah, Tierney put a shift in for me. Why did I captain Chilwell? No one will ever know. I think he was on form at the time. Did he do well the previous game? Yeah, he did good previous game weeks. So I thought he could do it again, but no. Should have captained Tierney. The amount of time, so I'm going to say I should have captained someone else in this video. It's going to be unreal. But, and yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're not going to talk about game week 18. <laughs> and then we go back up again. Doing pretty decent, pretty decent. When Firmino was actually playing well. Should have captained Madison, though. Game week 20, another decent game week, another decent game week. Lacazette was on fire back before Martinez was being a madman and saving everything. And then, of course, when I bench him, he gets more points. And there's Harvey Barnes, cult hero, when we bring him in. Did we bring him in game week 20? Yeah, we did. He got six. All right, game week 19. Okay, yeah, I'm not. Okay, he wasn't there. That's when we bring him in. See, so we bring Harvey Barnes in, and it has a slight turnaround. 62 points here, Captain Harvey Barnes. I mean, 
Vanny got injured, I believe. Hence, he only got six points, but he's a mad player. Very high potential in my eyes. Oh, no, he wasn't injured. He was still alive, but... I don't know. When did he get injured? He started, he started doing pretty well for me. I believe I named my team after him because he won me a weekend. But, yeah. Game week 23. It was another very meh game week. We have a lot of meh game weeks around here. 76, so pick up Martinez in goal. And then Harvey Barnes also winning me at the game week, I believe. Yeah, Martinez and Harvey Barnes single-handedly carried me the majority of this game week. So did Madison and Rudiger, to be fair. But that's about it. Game week 25... 78, 78 points twice in a row, 176, I thought that was 78 twice, but yeah, Fernandez, Captain Fernandez, Barnes still in it, when did Barnes get injured in? I had to take him out, and I was actually quite emotional taking him out, it hurt, he, he was carrying my club as you can see here, but yeah, very good game week if you ask me there, considering if I were to triple, why didn't I save my triple captain to win like Man United came up against someone they could easily destroy, I think 84, that was another sensational game week from me, big captain choices, Martinez getting 24 points. Oh, he didn't get it. I swear he got Who got 24 in the last one? Oh, Fernandez. But yeah. And then we go. Oh. <laughs> so you see, like, the high seven, 75 plus two weeks in a row, and then you go all the way down to 28. I don't know what happened there, to be honest. Had a complete stinker. Who cost me? The Man City defence cost me pretty much. But yeah, 28, they make up for their sins and just completely carry me. And I get 58 points. So decent, decent. Okay, yeah, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that either. <laughs> oh, we started... Yeah, we had a rough patch and it was... Oh, no, wrong, wrong thing. The league started going horribly wrong. But yeah, 58, we started getting back up, fighting for second again. 58 twice in a row. Bench boost just literally clutched me up pretty much. Got me up there. I think I still lost anyway. Did I lose? Did I? Yeah, I lo oh, I lost to Adam because I got minus four points for an extra transfer. <sighs> Sad times. 42, 71, and then 72. We ended it on a high, and we go again next season. Adam, I'm putting the challenge down now, mate. I'm beating you next season. Have it.